What it do, what it do, what it do, man, listen. But I look into the stochastic RSI. I think the stochastic RSI is very, almost well, certainly, I believe is more accurate than the regular RSI. So all these indicators, they take time to understand, you know. We, we, try, we do the best as technical <clears throat> analysts and market analysts. What we do is we try to use every tool possible to be able to understand the trend. And um, the stochastic RSI, I just, this morning I was looking at it and it actually is very accurate because what it's doing is that it shows you how pairs or some pairs are. Like this is Euro USD. It's showing me that even if it goes up, well, most pairs don't really come down as that they consolidate anyways, but it gives you where it helps with your entry. So when it goes up like that and it comes down and it goes up and you know that, okay, so it's coming back down to that. Every time it touches that line for the second time, you know that it's a, it's a definite drop for a sale. So let's look at GBP AUD. I don't, GBP AUD is a very interesting pair. But I know that it usually just goes up and most of the time it consolidates just a little bit. Oh, you can see that in the RSI, like I said, you can see that it goes up, that comes down. So it, it's a more consistent pair. It's a very, very consistent pair. And um, I just, with time of trading, I realize it's not even about the, well, the color of the candlestick or the, well, all that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because... All this is determined by the people that move the market. All you want to do is to understand the trend of the market, the structure, the breaker structure, understand the, all these other confluences. So the moving average actually helps. So because as it goes up, it's all green, and as it's coming down, it's red. So I have three confirmations. I have the RSI, the moving average, the breaker structure, um, this one, you can see that it tested the box. It didn't come out the box for more buys. And um, with my moving average, I know that, okay, it's time for a sell. And I placed my Fibonacci retracement tool right here. So it played out pretty nice. So psychologically, uh, uh, this color, this one color, it doesn't play with your emotion. Because if you have so many colors, you're like, oh, wow, the buyers are coming in. The sellers are coming in. But... You know what you're doing. You know with all your four confirmations that prices are coming down. So with this GBPAD, I have my, um, oh yeah, I have the Fibonacci retracement. Um, it, it seems to work very. I think stochastic. I think the uh, Fibonacci retracement too works very well with GBPAUD. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the long position too so we understand the risk that we're taking so with the long position too it's a one to about five um, because our stop loss is right on top of the resistance line just in case it goes against you you're secure this is how you actually not lose a lot of money in the market and you increase your profit I had to learn this um, with time so let's make sure I get this a little darker, the red part. That means danger zone. <laughs> that means get out of here. That means you missed the last train of party. <laughs> so yeah. So as you can see, our risk is very, actually let me just, it's probably like four pips. You're losing four pips to make about 20 pips. So. That's how you see the bigger picture. <clears throat> so yeah, prices. GBPAUD is a very interesting pair. I'm, I'm going to take that seriously. But I decided to... See, when you start something, you want to understand what's going on. You understand every single pair. That's how you know you're taking this very seriously. You know? I take my time to study the prayers at night. Because you want to master your craft. That's just how... I, that's just how the universe works. You got to put in the time. 
And nobody's going to be there to put the time in for you. You got to put in the time. You got to put in the effort. And, um, yeah, you see this blue line? I use this to show what I do is I go to the one-way time frame and I zoom in, zoom out, and I know the trend of the market. So this is telling me we are in an uptrend. So I'm looking for more buys. But we can definitely take advantage of the sell and the buy because in the GBP AUD, you can make money both ways. You know, sometimes it's a little slow, but, you know, I like that. Well, I'm I'm, uh, I'm beginning to understand why people trade as per. Speed it up a little bit. So that's pretty. So down, then the moving average. It's, uh, it's still red. I mean, it's still going for the boom. As soon as it's green, you get out. I love this moving average. It's called ADX. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Where's my stochastic RSI? I need it. All right. There we go. Stochastic indicator. Where did it go to? Oh, no, not this one. Yeah, this one right here. So just a one more time replay. So very fast replay. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's still it's still an uptrend. Still, it's still an uptrend. But in, in some in some purse, you, you got to take advantage of stuff. You know, you don't want to just be like, I'm only buying, I'm only selling. I mean, you can maximize it. You got to let everything work in your favor. All the tools in trading view, every single every single arsenal you got, you got to bring it to the table. So wow, so you can see that it was it was dropping pretty beautifully. So from here to the highest point to the lowest point, it's all bank. All right. So let's do this. Let's have a strong week. And um, yeah, so like I said, you know, it's just just consistency and steady. And then, by the way, just want to advise you guys that there's no best way to have your charts or best way to understand it or the best time frame. All that does not exist. You got to work based on what you, how you understand the charts because it all comes down to you. Okay. So the Fibonacci is very easy to use the Fibonacci. All you gotta do is go from the highest point to the lowest point. So let me show you. What you gotta do is go to trading view. The Fibonacci is the third, the third option. You just click Fibonacci. And you go, you click the top point and you just drag it down. Sometimes, okay, so when you double click the Fibonacci tool, you don't get these options and you just play around with it. Sometimes it's not going to go all the way down. All you got to do is click the two. You're going to see the circle down here. All you got to do is pull it down. It's going to see it. And get more space. So, this, yeah, so that little circle down there, in case you did, it's the ability to stretch it, okay? You really want to go into your trading view and uh, work on your Fibonacci because sometimes they don't come they do not come made like that. You want to customize. Okay, I think at the end of the day, the best thing is to just customize everything in your favor. You have to customize your trades in your favor. You gotta you can listen to other people. You, know, you know, you don't have to listen to me, but you can listen to other people. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to you. you customize the trade. Let it work in your favor. Do what the 99% are not doing. The 99% are following everybody. Don't do that. Be custom made. <laughs> So yeah, I appreciate you guys. Have a lovely, have a lovely weekend. So let's get this back. Let's be surrounded by good people, greatness, people who want to see us elevate. Okay. All right. So yeah, take care of yourselves. To all my traders around the world, London, everywhere, UK, Africa, Trinidad, Jamaica, Atlanta. I appreciate the love and support. 
know, trading is is, is super it's easy, but this is complicated. You know, that's what I'm saying. I have my own saying that the road to simplicity is complicated. It's complicated because it's so easy. It's complicated. You got.